At the start of the film, we are introduced to a good-looking student, Jisoo, who is on his way to school. Meanwhile, a new girl named Yuan Xian Ching is searching for her classroom, as she is unfamiliar with the place. As she is walking around, she accidentally bumps into Jisoo and is about to fall to the ground. However, Jisoo, who turns out to be the most intelligent student at the school, uses his extreme mathematical skills to analyze the whole situation. He calculates the best possibilities to save Yuan as well as her cell phone. Thinking quickly, he grabs Yuan and pulls her towards him. But as he goes to catch his cell phone, he accidentally kisses Yuan. This distracts him and the cell phone eventually gets damaged. Upset, Jisoo walks away, while a stunned Yuan takes some pictures of him. In the next scene, it's orientation, and the principal introduces all of the students. It's Jisoo's turn and here we learn that he has an astonishing IQ of 200. Because of this, he is placed in the prestigious Section A, while the not-so-smart Yuan is placed in Section F. Section A students are involved in creating new technologies, while Section F students are delegated to cleaning the school campus. Because of his high intelligence and good looks, Jisoo is stalked by girls wherever he goes. However, they can't enter the A section because the security system at the entrance requires a fingerprint to enter. The movie then cuts to a few years later where we see Jisoo giving an inspiring speech and every girl present there is in awe of him. After concluding his speech, a notification pops up on everyone's phone, stating the closeness of Jisoo and his classmate, Sha Hui. Because of this, Yuan becomes distraught and heads to the rooftop while her friends try to cheer her up. The friends believe that Jisoo is out of her league, so she should stop fantasizing about him. Just then, another classmate named Aojin arrives and tries to talk to her about his love for Yuan. Since it's their final year before graduation, he pleads with her to spend the remaining time together. However, Yuan completely ignores his statements and instead makes up her mind to propose to Jisoo before graduation. Later, Yuan's friends help her trigger the fire alarm, which disables every security system inside the school. Seizing the opportunity, Yuan runs to Section A and finds the door open. After going inside, she finds Jisoo and immediately confesses her feelings for him. Unfortunately, Jisoo declines her proposal and even calls her an idiot before walking away. Yuan is devastated by the rejection, but consoles herself thinking that at least no one noticed the incident. But to her dismay, several students suddenly surround her with their cell phones and start recording her. The principal also finds out about her trespassing and scolds her for wasting Jisoo's precious time. In the next scene, while Yuan is at her house, she gets a text from her friend, which states her rejection video has gone viral. At the same time, her drunk father approaches her and starts talking nonsense. He states that they will be getting a new house, but Yuan makes him understand that they just recently got a new one. As they walk a bit further, an earthquake suddenly hits, and the house is left in rubble. Astonishingly, it's the only house that collapsed in the entire neighborhood. The news of Yuan's house collapsing spreads like wildfire and her school friends start a collection to raise money for her. This embarrasses Yuan even more as she doesn't want others to know her financial difficulties. She tries to stop them, but Jisoo arrives and taunts her father for buying such a poorly constructed house. Moreover, he also makes fun of the Section F students. Hearing this, Yuan gets angry and bets him that she will fall inside the top 100 students in the upcoming exams. Jisoo simply laughs at her and accepts the bet. Later, Yuan along with her father reach the collapsed house and try to collect whatever is salvageable. Just then, a fancy car pulls up and a sharp-looking man steps out, asking for Yuan's father. He tells them that one of his friends has arranged a place for them to stay. Yuan and her father get inside the car and reach a mansion where they meet Ali, a rich businessman. Ali's wife welcomes them and introduces herself as Jiang. Since the family has no daughters, Jiang is excited to see Yuan. Jiang's younger son Yushu tries to taunt Yuan and her father by talking about the collapsed house, but Jiang smacks him on the head and tells him to be more respectful to the guests. After the introductions, Jiang escorts Yuan inside the house and describes her oldest son. She suggests that he could be the perfect husband for her, but Yuan politely declines, stating that she is already in love with a handsome boy from school. Later at night, Yuan sets up her room with several pictures of her crush, Jisoo. However, she is left stunned when Jisoo enters her room, revealing that he is the eldest son of the family. The following day, Jisoo is forced by his mother to take Yuan along with him. At first, he hesitates, but after a lot of convincing, he finally agrees. However, on the way, Jisoo suddenly makes Yuan get off his bicycle and warns her to stay away from him. At school, Yuan is confronted by girls from Jisoo's fan club as she had proposed to him before and now has announced to be in the top 100s list. This makes her feel bad because she doesn't want to be hated by her classmates. Later, Yuan gets a message from Jiang, which includes her son dancing in a lady's dress. She immediately sends the video to Jisoo and asks him to meet her soon. Later when they meet, Yuan uses the video to blackmail him and pleads with him to tutor her for the upcoming exam. At first, Jisoo refuses, but when Yuan threatens to share the video with his fan group, he agrees. The following day, they begin the preparations. Yuan is so weak in her studies that Jisoo has to teach her the very basics and use a simplistic approach to help her understand the subject properly. 
From this day onwards, Yuan works very hard and even studies when she is alone at school. One night after a tiring tutoring session, Jisoo falls asleep on the table. Surprisingly, Yuan comes near him and sleeps on the same table. She wants to spend as much time with him as she can. Later, Jiang enters the room and is surprised to see them together. But she also finds it cute, so she takes a picture of them. The day of the final exam arrives and everyone is busy with their questions. This time, Yuan is confident in her abilities and answers all the questions without any fear. Jisoo is also keeping a close eye on her, hoping that she does well. After the exams are out, Yuan rushes to the notice board and first checks Jisoo's position. She learns that he is still in first place and is relieved that tutoring her hasn't hampered his grades. However, her happiness soon turns to disappointment when she finds out that she is not among the top 100 students. Luckily, the principal arrives and declares that there's been a mistake in the grading. He adds Yuan among the top 100s, making her very happy. The scene then shifts to the annual sports event at the school. All the students are gathered on the field either participating or cheering from the stands. Jiang is also in the crowd cheering for her son. When she finds out that Yuan is not popular among the students, she shares the picture of Yuan and her son sleeping side by side. However, everyone calls the picture a fake, as they have already photoshopped themselves with Jisoo before. Still, some students get curious and start questioning Yuan about her relationship with Jisoo. As she is about to explain, Jisoo arrives there and humiliates her in front of everyone. To make matters worse, a notorious student plays the video of Yuan's rejection on the large screen. Embarrassed and humiliated, she also plays the video of Jisoo's cross-dressing. As a result, he grabs Yuan by the hand and forcefully takes her away. In the following scene, the two are on the rooftop of the school. Yuan confesses that she no longer likes Jisoo, calling him selfish and arrogant. She further tells him that she will find a handsome boyfriend as soon as she enters university after graduation. However, as she is about to leave, Jisoo grabs her by the hand and shockingly kisses her. After that, the scene fast forwards to some time after graduation. Jisoo is preparing for the ISAT entrance exam, which is super important for getting into the world's best universities. Just before he heads off to take the exam, Yuan gives him a special locket for good luck. It's meant to bring him positive vibes and help him do well. But things take a turn for the worse when Jisoo reaches the exam center. He drops the locket and as he tries to pick it up, he slips and falls on the stairs. As a result, he breaks all the pencils he had brought with him. Later, Yuan comes to the exam center to meet Jisoo during the break, but unfortunately gets into an accident. Alarmed, he leaves his exam and rushes her to the hospital. Back at home, Ali is furious with his son for abandoning the exam. Jisoo retaliates by saying that he doesn't want to pursue his studies abroad. Moreover, he doesn't want to take over the family business. He just wants to have his own path, which will have nothing to do with his parents. After the intense conversation, Jisoo walks out of the house requesting that his father let him make his own decisions about his future. As soon as he leaves, a distraught Yuan apologizes to his parents, stating that it's all her fault. After this, she follows Jisoo to a park and assures him that she will always be by his side. The latter assures her that it's not her fault at all. He simply wants to be left alone without any pressure or expectations. So the following day, Jisoo gathers all his belongings, determined to live an independent life. A few months pass by and Yuan manages to get admission to the same university as Jisoo. However, she isn't able to contact him as he has distanced himself from everyone. One day, she gets a message about Jisoo's location and rushes there. Upon arriving, she learns that he's been working as a veterinarian. Yuan approaches Jisoo and tries to start a conversation, but he replies to her rudely. Before departing, he asks her to take care of herself and his brother. Later at night, Yuan follows Jisoo to his apartment and finds a random girl waiting for him there. She instantly gets jealous, thinking that he now has a girlfriend. The next day, Yuan, with the help of a Jin, discreetly follows Jisoo and the girl during their hike. The plan works for some time, but at an intersection, they are suddenly spotted. As a result, a Jin and Yuan are forced to join the other two. They wander around the area and have a fun time. A little while later, a Jin and the girl suddenly get on an electric rickshaw and leave. This leaves Jisoo and Yuan alone, so they decide to spend their time on a boat. As they chat, they put aside all their differences and become close again. Following this, Jisoo takes Yuan to his hotel room, and they end up sleeping together. The next morning, Jisoo receives devastating news that his father is in hospital due to a heart attack. Panicked, he immediately rushes there, and Yuan follows him. Jisoo is distraught when he learns that his father cannot work anymore, so he is forced to take up his position in the business. And since the company is going through a tough time, Jisoo has to work hard day and night. He even decides to marry a wealthy girl and merge the businesses with her parents. Later, Jisoo confronts Yuan and asks her if she has any problems with his decision. Yuan simply replies that if it's best for the company and his future, he should proceed with it. After this, the scene cuts to a year later. 
Yuan is now working as a nurse at a hospital. One day after her shift is over, she checks Jisoo's social media profile and learns that he is returning to the high school for a speech. He has also dedicated several posts to an anonymous girl, most probably the one he is about to marry. This makes Yuan a bit jealous, but nonetheless, she decides to attend the function in order to see him. However, when Yuan enters the main hall, she finds it empty. Just then, she receives a call from Yushu, who reveals that his brother Jisoo actually dedicated all the posts to her. Soon, her handsome protagonist appears and proposes to Yuan. The movie ends as she accepts his proposal and kisses him passionately.